Hi, my name is Jake and I love my dog. His name is Fajita. He is a real treat. He's still a puppy, uh, but he's also a Labradoodle, which you get by mixing a Labrador and a Poodle. And although sometimes dog breeding go horribly wrong, the system of genetics that causes these breeds to exist is the same one that created all the diversity of creatures on the planet. And you can see this in inner animals. Now this site has been shown previously on Dong, but it's a beautiful example of how things we take for granted are caused by very specific needs of our ancient ancestors. Things are changing, my friend, every day, and we're gonna look at those things that are changing with some Dongs. Things that you can do online now, guys. Thadior Awenda and Thagied Awenden. You probably didn't understand what I said, and my grammar is also probably terrible, but that was technically Inglés. Old English, but technically a direct ancestor to modern English. And you can use the Old English translator to see what the old versions of words would have been. Also, check out the language evolution tree to see how language evolved from the various theoretical languages, like Indo-European and Afro-Asiatic, through to the modern languages we know and love today. Now, look at this. This is money. You've probably seen it before. If you haven't, that's totally fine. But it hasn't always looked like this. The first paper money showed up in China in the 700s, but it didn't make its way into Europe until the 1400s in Italy when it started to really take off. Now the first, let me pull this back out. US $1 bill was introduced in 1862 and it looked like this. Fun fact, dollar bills, also known as banknotes, were until 1933 just representations of an equal value of gold or silver. At the time, coins, which were usually pressed forms of these materials, were the real money. And banknotes, ha, were just a receipt saying that you held that much of your gold. Another fun fact, the $5 bill was created a few years before the $1 bill. Hit him! Hit him! <laughs> also, check out this $100 bill, the new US one. Jack thinks it looks great, but you know what I think? I mean, it does look nice. He thinks it's the coolest one. I think the Australian dollar is pretty cool because it can also be used as a needle for vinyl records. Uh, check out this vid. Neat. Now, Jack is uh, is editing this video on a computer machine, uh, which is a pretty rad piece of technology, but it's also super quiet. Most of the gadgets we use today make almost no sound, but it wasn't always true. This stuff used to be loud, and you can listen to all the old tech sounds at conservethesound.de. There's a bunch of old machines with the sounds they made, like a VHS player, a NES, and old phones. There are also a bunch of videos on YouTube that use uh, old floppy disk drives or hard drives to make music. You can check them out. There'll be links down there in the description. I love them. This Radiohead one is one of my favorites. Music to my ears. Let's look at this globe. We've all got a pretty great idea of how the world looks. Well, you probably also know that it didn't always look this way and that's because of tectonic plates. These plates are basically giant islands floating on the Earth's liquid insides. Now these islands slide around and when they run into each other, well, you know the answer already. They cause earthquakes and mountain ranges, woo, and all sorts of rocky madness. <sighs> now this simulation of plate tectonics is super cool and you can watch a million years go by each second. Wow, right at a million years, you can see Michael when he was born. That's the really crazy thing about these plates moving around. It can take an incredibly long time for their effects to be noticeable. All right, kids, it's getting late. Or is it? <laughs> Another thing that changed a couple of weeks ago is what time it is. This article shows where daylight savings time affects you the most. You can see the amount of daylight in each part of the US and how much that would change if we abolished daylight savings versus change the time permanently. Either way, it's almost 1 a.m., which means it's my bedtime. But before I go, all the dongs are down there uh, and there's even a, a playlist of dongs right here. So go uh, be the change in your world, bucko. Good night, good luck. And here, Hanny, you can have this dong. Yeah! Well, okay. I like guess money is money. meaningless to you. And as always, give Hannah money so she stops beating me. Ah! I thought you were actually gonna hit me. That's how scared I am. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, hello again. Video's not actually over. Also, I changed my shirt and I got a haircut and shaved. Uh, but we were talking about tectonic plates and it got me thinking about something that actually comes in the latest Curiosity Box. Curiosity Box. 10. If you don't know what the Curiosity Box is, this is a quarterly science and curiosity filled subscription box that Michael, Kevin, and I make. And we spend a lot of time with it. And we design basically all the products that aren't 
the book, or the video game that come in it. Spoilers. Uh, but it's something we really, really care about. There's a link down there if you want to get your own. We love this box. Again, we make everything, and also a portion of the proceeds goes to Alzheimer's Research. We've done, by now, close to $120,000 worth of donations because of this box and your support with it. Anyway, tectonic plates. I want to show you one thing that comes in this box, and I really love this. It's something that we designed called Earth Layers, well, it's Earth's Layers gift wrap, but S's. I have trouble with them. So we have the crust, we have the upper mantle, we have the lower mantle, we have the outer core, and then there is the core. So it's pretty darn cool, and if you were to wrap all of your presents with this wrapping paper and stack them in the proper order, you'd actually have a really nice cross-section of Earth. So that's pretty dang neat. Anyway, curiositybox.com, you can check it out down there. It's not only a great way to support Vsauce, but it's a great way to support your brains and also other people's brains through Alzheimer's research. All right, I love you. And as always, thanks for watching.